glamorous wife of former cabinet minister Melusi Kigawa spent a night behind bars this weekend for allegedly trashing his close friend's car. But also because the hawks believe she could be involved in a conspiracy against her husband. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News in Zanzi. Now if you're new to the channel, you know you love the stories, go ahead, press the subscribe button and that notification bell so you can never miss a story. Kigawa has vowed to continue to do everything within his power to support her during this difficult period. She was released on 5,000 rand bail late on Saturday. However, an impeccably placed source within the Hawks who spoke to the press on condition of anonymity said a threat on Kigaba's life had been uncovered in June. And when Norma Kigaba allegedly attacked the car two weeks ago in what other sources said was a jealous rage, they used the opportunity to establish her involvement in the alleged conspiracy. The threat on Manusi Kigaba's life was reported to the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation. A team was assembled to look into these allegations. Intelligence was collected and the allegations were found to be credible, the Hawk source said. While the investigation took shape, the 40-year-old socialite is said to have gone on a rampage in which she allegedly left deep scratches in a 3 million rand black Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG g wagon which had been lent to her husband by his close friend, trade unionist and businessman Peterson Siaya. She also allegedly trashed her husband's study and called Siaya, who a source says to Kikaba said Norma believed was a bad influence, on the phone to threaten and insult him. When she did what she did, it presented us with an opportunity to drill into what we were already investigating, the Hope source said. She was already the subject of an investigation when the car was attacked and neither she nor her husband was aware of the probe. It is understood that Norma's cell phone and other devices were seized by investigators and would be examined by the police cyber crimes unit. Repeated attempts to contact Norma's family for comment were unsuccessful, Gigaba's attorney Victor Pauschu said he had advised his client to stay quiet. Zandilen Rovu, listed as a director of the Norma Gigaba Foundation, said she and Norma had lost touch recently and she could not comment. Norma was arrested in the presence of her husband at her plush Pretoria home on Friday, nearly two weeks after he and Siaya opened criminal cases against her with the police. The marriage has been toxic for years and Manusi has been complaining that she is not supportive and that she is materialistic, said a source close to Kikaba who also confirmed that the Hawks were investigating a threat on Kikaba's life. This is not the first time she has trashed things, but this time it was not possible to keep things hush-hush, the source said. The police docket indicates that the damage inflicted on CIA's car was so severe that it would take about half a million to fix it. But Gigaba, who is now employed by the ANC after being shuffled out of the cabinet, could not afford the repairs. A source close to him said that for CIA to access his insurance, Gigaba had to open a police case. So she trashes the car and trashes the study and then talks to the guy and tells him that she thinks what she thinks of him, the source alleged. Siaya also later complained of criminal injury against Norma. Kikaba, a source alleged, has been unfaithful and has to own up to his shortcomings as a husband. In the midst of it all, that is the depth of a jealous rage whenever she finds out about the relationship he's having. She wants to maintain a happy family facade. He had numerous affairs, the source said. Kikaba has tried to withdraw the charges he laid against Norma, a source said yesterday, and lawyers representing her and CIA have been in negotiation all week to resolve matters. She was contrite, she was advised to apologize, and their lawyers have been in discussions about what such an apology would entail. He was trying to resolve it amicably. He was at the police station until very late last Friday night trying to plead with them to grant her bail, but he was not successful. Norma will appear in court on Monday. Kigawa said he could not phantom why the Hawks would detain his wife. I really don't see how the decision to arrest my wife, the mother of my children, on a Friday, in the absence of any indication that she would have failed to represent herself in court, if one to do so could ever be justified, he said. The fact that I filed a criminal complaint against her does not mean that I do not care about her or her right to fair and humane treatment in the hands of the police. I shall continue to do everything within my power to support her during this difficult period, he said, adding a request that they be given privacy to deal with underlying problems they are facing. 
Higaba and Siaya, a businessman and official of the National Union of Mine Workers, are close friends. Pictures on Siaya's Instagram page show how he toured the country with the former minister. There are also pictures showing the G-Wagon, his luxury watches and Louis Vuitton luggage. Hawk spokesperson Brick Hangwani Modawuti denied there had been any political pressure to arrest Norma, saying, this is a warrant of arrest and when it is authorized, it must be executed. The Gigabas have had tumultuous marital no, man. The Gigabas have had a tumultuous marriage since they tied the knot in December 2014. Shortly after their glitzy nuptials, Gigaba was outed as a philander by New York-based stylist Muslim Kize. Nkize claimed their affair began before the Gigabas were married and continued after. In 2018, Gigaba was embroiled in a sex tape scandal after a video clip of him naked went viral. At the time, Gigaba held that his phone had been hacked and that the video in which he said, imagine this is your mouth, was only meant for Noma. <laughs> I'm Zanti, you know what we love to hear from you, so go ahead and leave a comment on the comment section below. But for now, you know we'll bring you the stories hot just the way you like.